In this video, we'll take a look at Spaces Matcher, which lets you write rules to find words and phrases in text. Compared to regular expressions, the matcher works with doc and token objects instead of only strings. It's also more flexible. You can search for texts, but also other lexical attributes. You can even write rules that use the model's predictions. For example, find the word duck only if it's a verb, not a noun. Match patterns are lists of dictionaries. Each dictionary describes one token. The keys are the names of the token attributes, mapped to their expected values. In this example, we're looking for two tokens with the text iPhone and X. We can also match on other token attributes. Here, we're looking for two tokens whose lowercase forms equal iPhone and X. We can even write pattern using attributes predicted by the model. Here, we're matching a token with a lemma by, plus a noun. The lemma is the base form, so this pattern would match phrases like buying milk or bought flowers. To use a pattern, we first import the matcher from spacey.matcher. We also load a model and create the NLP object. The matcher is initialized with a shared vocabulary, nlp.vocab. You'll learn more about this later. For now, just remember to always pass it in. The matcher.add method lets you add a pattern. The first argument is a unique ID to identify which pattern was matched. The second argument is an optional callback. We don't need one here, so we set it to none. The third argument is the pattern. To match the pattern on a text, we can call the matcher on any doc. This will return the matches. When you call the matcher on a doc, it returns a list of tuples. Each tuple consists of three values, the match ID, the start index and the end index of the matched span. This means we can iterate over the matches and create a span object, a slice of the doc at the start and end index. Here's an example of a more complex pattern using lexical attributes. We're looking for five tokens. A token consisting of only digits, three case insensitive tokens for FIFA, World and Cup, and a token that consists of punctuation. The pattern matches the tokens 2018 FIFA World Cup colon. In this example, we're looking for two tokens, a verb with the lemma love followed by a noun. This pattern will match love dogs and love cats. Operators and quantifiers let you define how often a token should be matched. They can be added using the OP key. Here, the question mark operator makes the determiner token optional, so it will match a token with a lemma by, an optional article, and a noun. OP can have one of four values. An exclamation mark negates the token, so it's matched zero times. A question mark makes the token optional and matches it zero or one times. A plus matches a token one or more times. And finally, an asterisk matches zero or more times. Operators can make your patterns a lot more powerful, but they can also add more complexity, so use them wisely. Token-based matching opens up a lot of new possibilities for information extraction, so let's try it out and write some